I'm Curtis Veal, and I'm medical director of Swedish Health Services, Tele-ICU. The Tele-ICU involves a central hub staffed by an intensivist, critical care nurses, and other support staff that has access, very rich access, using communication lines that can carry large amounts of data, allowing us to communicate bi-directionally with patients and nurses in intensive care unit rooms throughout our system. The Tele-ICU allows our intensivist staff to provide care for up to 100 different patients in diverse locations, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365. In my typical screen setup, I have one of my screens devoted to the patient database so that I can look at a snapshot of who that patient is, who their attending is, what their allergies are, what their main problems and treatments are at this time, the last several hours of vital signs. We can look at them with a video camera that has very high resolution, allows us to assist nurses in examining. It simply adds another level of safety and has changed the way we practice critical care. We don't assume that it replaces bedside personnel. In fact, it's essential to have good, strong staff at the bedside for this to work well. It's a powerful command center where we have all the tools that we need to manage and care for patients at any location remotely. The advantage of having a tele-ICU program at Swedish Health Services is that the patients, families, and the staff who are part of the patient's care have that extra safety net and security that other hospitals in the state don't have. If something critical happens to a patient, we can easily provide the care that we need in a fast, effective, and safe manner. The tele-ICU technology and the system we have in place has certainly changed the way that we deliver patient care in our system and also the way that care is delivered in many ICUs across our country.